So hi, Mike Crop Hunter here. Well, I'm visiting right now the Botanical Gardens and I am super frustrated. I'm super frustrated because I forgot my little plastic containers to take along water samples. There are so many small ponds here, lots of water samples to be taken, but I can't. Well, and this here is uh, just one of many ponds uh, that uh, are in the Botanical Garden. There are lots of algae growing on the surface of the water. It would have been a very interesting microscopic expedition. And it's also interesting to see that the different ponds that are here in this uh, botanical garden, um, they're not all the same. Some are very green, there are lots of uh, algae there, um, others less so. Some of them uh, contain a lot of tadpoles uh, where there are frogs going to um, develop. Uh, and uh, so not, not, not all ponds are the same. Um, of course, this also depends a little bit uh, maybe on the lighting situation, uh, also on the size of the pond. Yeah, so there would have been a lot uh, to put under the microscope, uh, but unfortunately, yeah, well, I'm learning from this. Of course, I also keep uh, several jars of pond water on my table so that I always have a ready access uh, for uh, specimens of specimens. But of course, uh, taking waters directly from the pond, of yeah. course, uh, yeah. shows that there is a very high biodiversity and there are always new things uh, to discover. Now, generally, I don't want to carry around a lot of microscopy equipment. Uh, and so for this reason, the containers that I use to collect my uh, water samples usually are quite small and light. Well, and uh, to make at least uh, some use of uh, today's visit at the Botanical Garden, um, I decided now to simply show you my microscopy equipment, uh, the accessories that I usually uh, take along uh, if I actually go on a small uh, microscopy ex expedition. Um, what I've uh, bought is I bought myself a small plastic uh, toolbox uh, for, yeah, for tools, screwdrivers and, and, and pliers and things like that. Um, and uh, I'm using this um, also to um, carry um, yeah, little uh, containers uh, and also tweezers, scissors. Uh, scissors are very useful to cut algae, for example. Yeah, and I'm, I think I'm just going to show you that. Well, some time ago I did start off uh, with a plastic uh, toolbox. Uh, there are several compartments in there. I usually use the outermost compartment for keeping my cleaning uh, tools. Uh, and when you open it up, uh, there is, of course, a plastic tray in there um, that uh, you can take out. And so I keep some of the filters in here, cover glasses. This is a magnifying glass uh, that might uh, prove to be useful every now and then. Um, an assortment of pipettes, uh, yeah, a little container for holding water, for making uh, temporary mounts. A pipette, of course, a disposable pipette. A lighter for heat fixing slides. I don't do that very often. Of course, also tweezers um, yeah, and many, many tools. Um, and when you take out the tray, then there is enough space uh, to keep uh, several containers. Yeah, that's a pipette that I also use uh, some glass slides. Usually I do not take them along. Uh, but yes, here, this is the space uh, for plastic containers and also glass containers. Yeah, these are basically for taking blood samples and uh, some nail polish uh, for making mounts. Uh, so this container here I'm not really using anymore uh, when I go on um, yeah, a microscopy trip because uh, it's simply too inconvenient. Uh, it's uh, too large and also too heavy and very often I do not really know whether I'm going to actually find uh, a place uh, to collect samples. So it does not really make a much, uh, much sense to take all of the equipment along uh, and you don't need most of it anyway. So I decided to change the strategy around and uh, I've got a little bag here and I decided to downsize and this too is a little uh, container from a hardware store uh, used uh, for keeping screws, screws and nails and so on. This is uh, from a toy, a toy set, a, a tweezer. Yeah, and uh, of course I also take along some of the tools here, but just the necessary ones. Scissors are useful for cutting algae, which are long. Um, tweezers also um, every now and then can prove to be useful, you never know. Um, sometimes it's also necessary to scratch off uh, some you know, of off, uh, some material from a rock and then of course some tools are quite useful here. They better be, these containers better be watertight and they are watertight. Uh, they are actually also used for centrifug centrifugation. <laughs> okay, that's a tongue twister. Uh, there is also a little uh, plastic spoon in there that you can take off and uh, I use them to collect the water samples um, and uh, there are also those other tubes here also for centrifugation um, and I prefer those actually because the plastic uh, is a little bit softer and does not seem to be quite as brittle 
Um, you see also that there's a difference in clarity. The clear one, the larger one, is much clearer, more clear, and but also more brittle, and therefore can break uh, much more easily. So I prefer actually the thin tubes. I mean, they come in various sizes, and yeah, here I simply took along the second one as well. Disposable pipettes. Um, occasionally, you want uh, to also collect smaller water samples from maybe difficult to reach locations. And uh, this uh, white plastic container, that is actually one that I uh, got from a drugstore because that's where they use, they put cream um, into those. Uh, it's also watertight. Uh, yeah, and there are some yet smaller containers um, which I barely use. Uh, yeah, so maybe I'm, I'm overdoing it a little bit here. Uh, usually you do not need so many of these uh, containers. Yeah, but in any case, um, I can recommend uh, find a solution that is uh, convenient for you. Um, and uh, however, when I did find out that uh, when uh, I put everything um, into the container, while it did not use a lot of space, um, it was a little bit noisy because all of those tools were kind of yeah making a, quite a bit of sound and noise uh, when I was carrying them, uh, because you can already hear that uh, yeah. So when you walk, uh, it makes this uh, rather um, unpleasant noise. So I decided to, to damp me down a little bit by putting some some foam material in there. This holds everything a little bit down. Therefore, it restricts the movement and uh, it also absorbs some of the sound and it's much more quiet. I was actually quite lucky that it was able to fit into my bag. Um, yeah, it was actually a pure coincidence. I bought all of those uh, components separately. Uh, but as you can see, <laughs> closing it with one hand is not so easy. I'm holding my mobile phone with the other hand. Yeah, and that's basically uh, that's basically it. So I'm using uh, this uh, larger container now simply for storing um, yeah, my microscopy material, but I usually leave it at home. Okay, um, I think uh, that's it for today. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always, and uh, see you around next time. Bye-bye.